common practice if you have an assembly line type uh, setup is to take a video of each of the operations in the line and process them one at a time in Timer Pro. We recommend that you treat each station as an individual study. You can, of course, put them all together in one big video time study. That would work too, but it's a little uh, clumsy after you get a lot of elements here. So if you wanted to do one at a time, let's say this was your first station here. Uh, you've got your data all recorded. You go to your summary here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and say we want to send it over to our line balancing. So we just click on the go here. And we send it out. I'm just going to use a name. It makes it very easy to see what's happening here. So what we do is we can give this a name. So let's just do a file. We'll save the balance as. And I'm just going to call it line 1. And click on the save. And it's called line 1 now. And now I'm going to close out of this. So close this. Now let's say we bring up another operation here. So I'm just going to come back over to my data collection. I'm going to uh, say I want to do a new study. I'm not going to save that. I'll just open up one of my other ones here. So here's another one here, different operation. But let's say that was the second step in line one. So what we do is we go to the summary and we get the same summary. The trick is to use this use last file here. So if we click on that, you see it remembers the one here. And then if I click on the go, it's going to take the results of this and add it to the other one as well here. So you can see it coming in. So they're both called task one right now. So I can rename them here. Just hit the right button here. I can rename the tasks. I can just make operator one to n, operator one and two. So now I've got two stations here. And I just do a file, I save the balance, and I close it. I do the same again. So I'm going to bring in another study here. So just going to open another one. I'm not going to save this one. I'll bring back up the original one here. And maybe I'll add another observation here. So I'll just play it here. And I'll just say, uh, let's say this was, uh, okay, so we stop that right there and we say machine machine part. So we just added another observation here. We save that. It's down here as machine parts. And we go to the summary now, right? It, um, it's got the machine part here. And I've still got checked use last file. You can see if I toggle it, it tells me which file it is. And now I click on go. And it's going to add, now I'm going to have three here. I can just rename them again, right button, rename task. Now obviously your task might have specific tasks, it wouldn't be just operator one, operator two, it could be buff sides, get parts, and all this good stuff. Right, so it's building it up here. So you can keep on doing this one after the other. So again, you do the same thing, file, save, close out, and bring up your next one. So I've already got three in there. So I'm going to come back over here, bring up this guy here. We'll just add another activity here to make it something different again. So I'll play the video. You see, um, prepare cage is what we're going to call it. And we'll stop it right there. And then we click on the stop. We've got it down here. We go to the summary. Now we've got an additional element in here. Uh, the user last file is still checked. Can toggle it and see it's going to the same one again. So I had three before, and I click on it, and now I'm going to have four. And you see I'm adding it up here. Now I've got four stations in here. I can rename them again, right button at the bottom, rename the tasks, operators, and build it up this way. Do a file, save, and then close out it and continue to do that one station after the other. So here we have an example here with uh, a whole series of steps here. And now we're going to add another one to this. This is the one I'm going to save. So I do a file, uh, save the balance. You can see it's called work instruction demo, dash TP, meaning timer pros maintaining it. We're on revision five. So we close out of this. Now we come back over here to our uh, video time study. And I'm going to pass it over here. So you can see the last used file is the one we just talked about there, right there. So if I hit the right uh, go here to pass it into the line balancing, this will be added as a new task over in the far right hand side of that particular operation and you can see it over here now instead of renaming them all here you might come in here and give it a true name so we can come in here and edit the task and do you see this would be cage prep and then we get that one in here so now if you do a file save that would be you'd now be up to eight stations here and you can keep on going to build up the line as long as you want here